Right guys, Paul back here again. In this video, I'm gonna be doing a quick detailed comparison between a fully re-leathered Undisputed V2 and a fully re-leathered Undisputed V4. Uh, the original, as far as on TV goes, the original Undisputed V1 was the WWF logoed version that debuted under Triple H. He was awarded it after Mania 18. Uh, that was quickly changed after the WWE changed its name from E to F and the Undisputed V2 was brought in. So the V2 version came with a black border around all the plates and it was significantly bigger. It was a ridiculously enormous belt, pretty much made to fit Brock Lesnar. Uh, the Undisputed V1 was very small, uh, but because it was such a big belt it had all six plates. Eventually, when smaller guys like Eddie Guerrero and Brock Lesnar can fit the smaller belts as well, once it started going to guys like that, they changed that to a V4, which only had four side plates, two on each side and a two by five snap box of fastening snaps on each side, whereas this one was the standard two by five and two by eight. So hopefully that makes sense. Just to make it clear and point out so people don't get confused, the plates on both of these belts are identical. Both of these are 2021 undisputed V2 replica belt plates. It's simply the leather straps are different and this version has one less plate. So we'll get into this now and take an in-depth look. Right, as mentioned, these are both the 2021 undisputed V2 plates, which are fantastic for those that haven't seen these plates before. They're incredible. Probably still my favorite replica WWE currently make and in my opinion the best replica they currently make So this one up top is the V2 style This one retains its sixth property of WWE plate and the 2x5 on one side and The 2x8 leather style on the other side Whereas the one down here exact same plates this one does have an Eddie Guerrero name plate on it at the moment so of course this one does have the shortened 2x5 snap box as you can see here and on the other side it doesn't have that sixth plate property of WB plate it simply goes straight to the snap box so because of that as you'll see the strap is about six inches or so in total shorter about three on each side so you can see how that would that would suit smaller people a little bit better to fit around the waist personally my favorite is the V4. I like the symmetry of having the same amount of plates on each side. I like the symmetry of the shortened snap boxes on each side. Personally, that's my favorite. I know a lot of people do actually prefer the V2 though, which, yeah, it's, it's a ridiculously long belt to be fair. It's a beautiful belt. I love this leather style as well. The V2 is definitely the most popular leather style I do for this belt. This is the version that Eddie Guerrero held on TV, so as a big Eddie Guerrero fan, that's the version that this is my actual one. And um, this is this is how I have my copy of the belt personally. So of course those leather straps are the traditional mid 2000s JMR style leather. We of course have the camouflage tooling, the JMR style camo that goes top and bottom of both, all the way to the other snap boxes. So I'll flip the belts over so you can see. The back of these, I mentioned the V2 is a customer's belt, so they requested that the nameplate be left exposed on the back so it can still be removed. This one here is my personal belt, so I chose to cover up the Eddie Guerrero nameplate screws, so that can't be removed now, but I wouldn't want to remove it personally. All the screws for the bolts themselves are covered up fully, as well as the male side of the snap box there, as you'll see. So both really beautiful belts. Um, I know people will want to know like the flexibility, so we'll take the V2 first of all. So again, real leather, you're going to get TV accurate flexibility there. Obviously these are heavy plates, the Undisputed is a big belt, loads of plates and each one of them is pretty heavy, so, so there's not going to be much of an issue of the leather uh, being too stiff to keep hold of those. And of course the V4 here again. Very similar story here. I don't know. <laughs> Alright, I don't think there's too much to go over these belts. Like I mentioned at the start, this was mainly just a quick example of what a V2 re-leathered on dispute looks like versus a V4. And I just kind of wanted to cover those few differences between them just to kind of give a decent enough overview. Uh, that being said, if you did enjoy this video, please do subscribe to the channel. Like this video, I would appreciate it. Let me know.
Which one do you prefer? Again, like I said, for me, it's the Undisputed V4, the Eddie Guerrero version. That's the clear winner for me personally, but I'm curious to see. I think most people do prefer the V2, to be honest, but we'll find out. If you enjoyed this video, do subscribe, like, and thank you very much for watching. Cheers. Yo, monkeys, it's me, DDP. And if you want to get one of the greatest belts made for you, go to Paul Martin Belts. That's right, sucker.